Welcome to my first Teach Tweet um, video. I'm Andy Lewis, um, also known as Talking Donkey RE on Twitter, and also with my blog Talking Donkey RE. And today I'm going to be sharing um, some of my practice uh, for marking A-level philosophy essays with the students, and um, helping them to improve their peer marking. And how, with a mixed ability group of students, we work from A star to E in our group. Um, how all of the students can give meaningful feedback. Um, using the mark scheme, using differentiated resources um, to give them the confidence to give very accurate levels and very accurate comments. I hope you find it useful um, and you'll be able to provide some feedback for me. So the first thing I started with is by trying to give them the mark scheme. Uh, obviously with the grades on there, there this is straight out of the um, Edexcel scheme of work. And so obviously you can see there it's got the level descriptors um, and the marks for the two parts of the essay. This um, was, was unaccessible to a lot of the students um, and they found it too difficult to actually um, give an accurate uh, mark to the essay or even um, gauge which level um, it was. So it was only very limited uh, success when I first used it. What I decided to do was to make my own uh, review sheet um, that you can see here. First of all, um, I got them to do some of the signposting that the chief examiner um, likes to see in the essays where they underline the scholar, the quote, some of the technical words. Um, I then broke up the mark scheme, um, so you can see here, um, as using the same language, um, I kind of broke it up into this um, grid style um, of, of mark scheme, which the students found a lot easier to understand. You can see how one student has used it here. Obviously we're towards the end of the A2 course now, um, and the essays are improving in quality. Um, you can see where this essay has been marked by two different students. Um, there's some agreement, um, but obviously you can see uh, where the students disagree, but they're in the same kind of area um, with the marks that they're giving it. Um, but they've certainly got a better idea um, of what level they're working at because of the grid system. Some students started off by using the grid system, um, and you can see here they've put individual levels for each section. And I made them aware that obviously... Um, if they haven't got level level four in everything, then it can only be level three when it comes to the actual mark. Um, and what they then did is actually took that um, and used it with the main mark scheme and actually gave um, the, the marks that they thought relevant in there. You can see uh, giving it 12 there um, and an eight there. Obviously what then is important that they're, they're accurate in what they're marking. Um, and it's important that obviously you still mark it yourself to make sure that is the case. Um, and it improves the quality of their marking by, by your second marking. Um, here you can see this student here um, has made some valid comments. Um, they've, they've been able to point out what's good about the essay. Um, they've not been able to, to give fully some targets to improve, but you can see um, that they've got the level absolutely spot on here um, with the AO1. When we look um, to the AO2 as well, um, the levels again spot on. They've they've very clearly seen that it is a level three, um, and what my job has been then to obviously write in some extra targets for them. One of the other things I do obviously think about is who I give whose essay to. Sometimes I just start to ask them to mark their their partners. Sometimes I deliberately give them out. Um, it's always a difficult choice. Do you give one of the stronger essays uh, to one of the weaker girls to mark to raise their aspirations? Um, do you give one of the weaker girls' essays to one of the stronger girls uh, where they're going to ultimately write a lot of, of, of comments and areas to improve on there? Or do you try to match them up? And again, what I do is try to vary that. Sometimes I'll get the essays marked two or three times um, and it again just gives the students a chance to read other essays, particularly in a subject like uh, philosophy where there's not necessarily one correct style. Um, it gives them access to lots of different um, essays in a, in a very short space of time. You can see here some of the students still don't feel as comfortable uh, with giving the comments. Um, it is, as I said, a mixed ability class. Um, but you can see here that regardless of the fact they haven't had the confidence to write the comments, um, they've still actually managed to get the level uh, absolutely spot on. And then obviously it's my job to put the comments yeah. in the But you can see here that some of the more able students are able to give some very detailed feedback in their marking. Um, it's absolutely spot on with the level that they've given, uh, but they've given some very good and focused targets. And um, that's for the AO1. Um, and again, for the AO2 there, um, really it's, it's hard to believe that it's an A-level student, um, a peer that's marking that, and in fact is, um, isn't a teacher. 
Thank you for your time and for watching and, and listening. Hopefully something I've said has been of, of use to you.